Happy birthday to your inbox. We found the bat cave. And let's give credit where credit is due. I'm Stephanie Wong, and this is a drop. Email turns 45 years old this year, which has Nigerian princes celebrating while they wait for you to send them $10,000. According to the history web pages, computer engineer Ray Tomlinson sent the first email sometime in late 1971. He says those test messages were entirely forgettable, but maybe they were just stored on Hillary Clinton's private email server. After 45 years, politicians still haven't learned that no email is truly private and that simply deleting emails doesn't actually make controversy disappear. Just no one tell them about the reply all button. They don't need another thing to abuse. The discovery of a colony of about 130 endangered bats has complicated plans for 2,000 acres that the airport gave to Hendricks County to develop into a park on the level of another Fort Ben or Turkey Run. Rumor has it that George Clooney and Christian Bale have also been spotted wandering the wildlife refuge. Now, it is possible to preserve the bat caves while also making room for Batmobile parking spaces, but officials say they're still surveying the land right now. It's the park the playing field deserves, but not the one it needs right now. Women in the White House administration have banded together to make themselves heard. Tired of being ignored in meetings in a male-dominated workplace, they created a strategy called amplification. When a woman makes a point in a meeting, all the other women in the room repeat it and give her credit for it. That got the president's attention. Now, I know you all think that this is the drop with Justin Mack, but I want to make it clear that I wrote this episode. Me. I'm the one who wanted to bring gender equality into this, and that was my Batman joke. For The Drop, I'm Stephanie Wong.